Hey all, this is Urson. Welcome back to episode two of our Cuba in Space LP. Uh, we have some good decisions to make up. Uh, speaking of decisions, let's talk about the decisions. We haven't looked at these yet. So we have two decisions specific to Cuba. One is Cabildo del Día de Reyes, uh, our Cabildos de la Nación, which to celebrate their Afro-Cuban roots. Through a Dia de Reyes celebration, our streets will be filled with African music and instruments. This, however, will halt our production and generate some instability from those that don, don't share the Afro-Cuban roots. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Weird how that lined up. So, we must be us. Only after the Renaissance must have a Cabildo de la Nación in all its cities. Okay. I wonder if that counts for puppets, too, or not. Uh, be funny to see. One magistrate. Cities enter resistance for three turns, but we get... A great musician and a 10-turn golden age to make up for it. That's interesting. Uh, I guess we should just time this well when we're not building anything critical. That's pretty good. I like that. Uh, nice little give and take. Uh, Grito de Yara. Uh, workers at the plantation suffer oppression from our enemies and are inspired by revolutionary efforts, inspiring them to join us in our battle. Will aid us in the process of revolution. Probably. Must be us, must be at war, must have at least three plantations. That will likely be a problem. After reaching the Renaissance, have at least one Revolucionario, which is our general, uh, great general replacement. Cost 100 gold, two magistrates, and one general. Receive an infantry unit for every plantation you own, up to six. Okay. Well, that's interesting. Uh, that will not likely be useful for us here, because all our resources here are mining slash sailing resources. Only the dyes are, so we will not have three plantations to work. So we probably will not be able to enact that unless we, I don't know, go loco, <laughs> so to speak, and just take over everyone else. Uh, but, okay, that's interesting to do. But uh, the other thing is, remember, our UA is, every time we adopt a social policy, we get a revolutionary uh, general point, so to speak, and we have right there, look at that, 148 already. So if we start going to war with Rami, we should get uh, a general relatively quickly, which would easily hurry the capture of C. Sashnalai. So I am looking forward to that once we get that up. But first and foremost, we are still working on our military. We're going to drop our third city here as planned, so we can have the whales resource, we can have the salt available, and then we have another source of production to deal with anything coming out of Seasession Ally. And also, if anything does come out of here, we can still bombard it to this position, so it's relatively a good place to keep our front strong. Must keep our pimp hands strong. All right, uh, this way, uh, this way. Still trying to meet some more people. We've only met three so far. Uh, we are trading Napoleon salt already. Oh, no, we're not, because he has no money. That's right. Can you do this? Nope. Uh, do you have money now? You still don't have money. Come on, man. Come on! I gotta meet another... I gotta meet another... La, 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 la. I must meet another AI. I'm getting ahead of myself. My tongue is getting ahead of my brain. I hate it when that happens. Uh, go here. And this is gonna be a little harder. Obviously, this is a continents map, so we'll probably meet one more AI here, which is kind of par for the course. And then after that, uh, we may have a little more... A little more difficulty until we get, uh astronomy to go across those great oceans blue uh, but there's some uh, wine here I may be able to get a city around there there's some plantations if I feel like dropping a f overseas colony at some point but let's just keep improving the salt our next population is going on the Mount Sinai for obvious reasons uh, that way we can get the faith really cranking get our religion out early and we might even take a religion with buildings in it because we're gonna have a lot of faith to spend around and it'll be nice okay we got an extra Extra archer, which is beautiful. I'm uh, probably going to bring that one out here to lock down the tile for our next city. Nothing else gets there. Uh, another freaking galley. Goodbye. Uh, we have grown in Santiago de Cuba, so obviously we're going here. 33 turns until new citizen. Why is it taking so long? We have a lot of food. This would normally be six food, and we only have five. Okay, so that'll explain why. Um, library. Yeah, so then here's a question. If we go straight up on Sinai now, I think it makes more sense to grow one more time. One more time. Um, I'm going to wait till this expands. I hope it expands here. Uh, it's the only one it's going to expand to, so yes, here makes sense. Get a fourth pop and then go back here because then I think we'll be okay. Uh, we're going to need a granary here as well. But yeah, Sinai is going to supercharge our religion. Now we could just honestly leave it. Just growing a little slower, because 8 faith, by the time we get that from other cities... You know what? Yeah, I'm probably just going to leave them there. We'll get a granary up sooner rather than later, and then that'll probably be better. Better off. Alright, let's see. Oh, we took care of that. Napoleon obviously dealt with that. Yeah, so there's there's a possibility for dropping a city out here at some point, uh, if I really feel like it. 
uh, and getting some more plantations. But we got to see what else is down here. There's probably some more things. More things to do. Archer. Yep, you're good where you are. And yeah, we just need to meet and trade with people. Do you, do you have money yet? Nope. Do you have money yet? Nope. God damn it. All right, next. Uh, another one's in the classical. Yeah, we're not really rushing there. We could have rushed there, but there's no point. Rami has 20 happiness. Good God. The AI happiness bonuses really do get a little ridiculous at this, uh, these difficulties. Okay. Finish the settler. Excellent. So let's get that library up. Uh, probably then a granary and an archer. In that order. We'll make it a caravan. I'll see what order I want to do those in. I think library first, in all honesty. Uh, since we just want to be able to get that national college up. Get a little more science for what we've got. We want to... No, I don't want to go there. I want to go exact... That's right, AI! Very smart! That's exactly where I want to go. So go that way. It's probably the fastest. We don't have sailing or anything. All right, so we're heading that direction. Uh, toward where we want to settle. Yeah, I don't think there's another AI here, though. It's probably west of Napoleon. I probably should push that way first, honestly. We'll, get, we'll hit this place on the way back. Or just with another unit at some point. I think that's probably smarter. In all honesty, uh, we're growing 11. We could be growing faster. Oh, we do have a lot of food, but we could still be growing faster. Uh, we will get that policy, though. It helps us grow. How many turns to a pasture? Uh, let's do the library first. I know what. Let's just bite the bullet and do the library first. I think that's just wiser all the way around. And we are going to need to, as soon as we get uh, philosophy, we're probably going to go to composites. I really wish I could sell my salt for flat gold. Do you want to be buddies? Because you, you don't have enough flat gold either. Well, let's do salt for gems, I guess. This is a little frustrating. I really want uh, someone with money. A little happiness will go a long way to keep us all safe. Uh, unit needs orders. Yeah, it makes me thinking in that caravan maybe smarter sooner rather than later. Maybe get that caravan out first. By the time we go to war, um, maybe even before the library. Hey, that's probably a good idea, huh? Uh, that caravan will give us a lot of science coming out of Sukhothai, and then by the time that's over with, we'll get the library in time because it's still going to be a little bit of production time for the library this way. Uh, that's probably right. That's probably the right decision. All right, cool. Uh, go here, and yep, we have gems. We just got gems, Santiago de Cuba. Did you not know that? Uh, you need tobacco. So someone around here probably has tobacco. They usually don't give you quests you have no chance in hell of completing. So the likelihood of this is very high. Uh, we'll be able to have plus six gold after this too once we drop this city because we'll be able to get the uh, oligarchy benefits from our archer being there, meaning right there, so we can settle where we want to. And not, not having a settler to maintain. So, yay. Uh, Rami has entered the classical era. That's fine. We'll get there eventually. Not too much of a worry. Because we're relatively on pace with tech, I think. Yeah, where is this last AI? Maybe he is down here. <laughs> That's going to be kind of funny. We got a really oddly shaped, uh, oddly shaped continent. It's kind of like a boomerang from hell. Um, yeah, we ain't getting through here, apparently. So if there is another AI, uh, we ain't meeting him if he's there. Damn it. Siamese scout. Uh, go this way, then. <laughs> we'll get there one way or the other. Should I probably block him off from being able to block me off, maybe? Yeah, he may block this spot, but then again, first and foremost, I don't want to make, want to make sure my settler goes where he needs to go. Good, okay. And then we'll be fine. Then we'll definitely get there one way or the other, unless he declares war, which he is unlikely to do yet. We still have a peace treaty, I think. Not for many more turns, but for a few. Uh, La Habana has grown. Beautiful. So what city is this? Is Orléans. Um, all right, maybe we go north around Paris. Let's try that. Go through the tundra, maybe get there. No one wants to go through the tundra, which is understandable. Tundra sucks, bro. Uh, yeah, we can't really stop growth anymore in this city. Well, we could probably do this, though. That library's going to take forever with that, though. How many more turns do I have? 13. Huh. But then again, 11 turns... Uh, you know what? I think I need a library out first. I st I'm still trying to find a way to optimize this. and just not freaking happening. Um... We can do a mine, a uh, farm here. This is a fresh water. I do believe it's still river. Yep, river. So that'll be more useful later. Yeah, that's fine. So let's do the mine there. And next. Yeah, that, this is supercharging my faith development. And this is going to be good too. I have a lot more uh, growth to go around. Uh, so that'll be nice. Our happiness is going to be well, well in hand. I wonder where Napoleon is going to go. You're probably going to drop a lot of cities like he tends to. He tends to be pretty expansionist. And I wonder if he's going to go after whatever his neighbor is at the moment. Uh, which is not unlikely. Actually, let's see. What's out here? Not much. Some sheep. Okay. 
Uh, that's finally done, so let's crank this around a little, because we have a better tile to work. Just optimizing, absolutely optimizing. We have a really strong start, we just don't want to let it fade away. Uh, so we want to optimize every single tile, every single growth we can. And move on. Yeah, I think, I think the, uh... Oh, no you didn't! Oh, he's about to drop a city there, isn't he? Well, guess what, bucko? That ain't gonna happen. Uh, you are just spamming settlers left and right. Uh, settler... Yeah, go. Go! He's gonna try to get another salt tile. Oh, God, what a little jackass. I want those tiles, man! 38 turns for library, but then it'll be faster once we crank one of these. Uh, yeah, this is okay. And then we'll do granary. But this is just, look at this, you just... <laughs> I'm gonna throw cities everywhere, because you have a plan, I'm gonna break it, ah! God, what a little... <clears throat> Rami, he's always such a troll. I mean, Marbazir was totally right. It is rom com troll face. There is no question in my mind. He's just a little punk. I don't think if the same continent, I don't think he can actually settle out here. One, two, three, four. He'd probably have to settle down here, which he won't, because he's allergic to settling on resources. Who got that city down just in time? Bayamo, good on you, man. Got you just in the nick of time. Uh, okay. Prague is allies with France. He probably cleared a couple uh, camps. He's probably going to go further down, and that's okay. Because he won't settle on the salt. He won't settle here, because it's still too close. This is over a body of water, but it is the same continent, so the rules of Settling should still apply. If it's on a different continent, then uh, the rules don't apply. So let's hope that's actually still the case. <laughs> Otherwise, we might have a problem. But we should be okay. Six turns to the library there, and then Biomo is going to speed up. So I think this caravan was the right choice. And by the time we're ready to clear war and ramming, like I said, uh, it's probably going to take some time uh, to build up our forces. We don't have a lot of money to upgrade to composites. So there, therein lies the rub. But that uh, trade route is going to help us get that money. And I really hope to meet this last AI soon so I can trade him salt for flat gold, make friends or something. Or even for GPT at this point. Hell, I'll take anything. Uh, let's see. Caravan, can you go to a city? That's one gold. That kind of sucks. Uh, can we get a little more gold out of this, please? What's the best trade route available we've got? Oh, that's right. We could have used a ship route. <laughs> Herp derp. Um, but not to his capital. So Sukhothai from Santiago de Cuba. All right. We'll do that. Uh, move that way, Santiago. We couldn't actually done a sea route because he has no sea cities. I knew I did that for a reason. Ah, uh, here I was thinking I was a complete idiot, and it's only most of the way true. All right, good. Now we'll get the library up. Good, just the way I like it. Um, granary, yeah, or more archers. Probably granary first, then archer. I don't think we need a military quite yet. I don't think he's going to go after us. Yep. So we got this tile thanks to our very smart settling decisions. And we'll be able to make use of this perfectly. We'll have control. We'll have hegemony over that part of the continent. So he dropped a far settling city. There is obviously stuff down that direction that I need to find. That may be where the last AI is. We'll do that once we have a ship. Which we will need. Uh, eventually, I'm going to need to get a workboat out here uh, to keep my happiness intact. Especially out there, too. So triremes are going to be the order of the day. Which is kind of a production hog this early. But oh, what can you do? Actually, does one of these city states want a trade route? Antwerp does. Oh, <laughs> speaking of the devil... Uh, Antwerp wants a trade route. This could be gold and science. It's only two science from Sukhothai. It's probably worth it to supercharge it a little bit. Uh, and uh, the rep with Antwerp would be nice. Because it is happiness. I have a lead with culture growth, which is pretty cool. Uh, that's rarely the case. Could we do that? I think just having a rep with Antwerp wouldn't be bad. A little extra happiness, a little more uh, golden age treatment. Yeah, what's the question? A little extra science early? Because this is not a lot of science. I thought it would be like plus four or something. He's not that far ahead of me at all. Or rep. Uh, and Antwerp is, is land bound, so I can't actually send a trader out there if I want to. Hmm. This is a really good question. i got to really decide. Because either way, it's going to be pillaged if I go to war with uh, Rami. This may put Rami off from going to war with me as well. <sighs> Rami has four technologies. I don't know... Yeah, I don't know. This is, a, this is a difficult decision. I'm not even sure. Let me think about that. What else? <laughs> That's probably the only unit that needs orders. We just grew in La Habana. So let's allocate this guy and then we'll decide. How about that? Ugh, <laughs> tough decisions this game. Uh, really good start, but a lot of tough decisions involved. I think just so we're ready to go to war, I think sending us to Sukhothai would probably be smarter right now. Uh, let's go to Sukhothai. There we go. And that's probably smarter. It'll It'll... The incoming trade will make him less likely to go after us. And with 11 gold per turn, we may be able to get to, um... Oh, we got an enemy. No, they're barbarian ship. Yeah, we gotta get another archer up here in La Habana, but that's queued up next, I believe. After the, uh, granary, so, yay. 
Can we please go west a little further? Where is this last AI? I'm just sick and feeling he already met him down there, and he's just gonna be like, ha -ha. Oh, good, another population. What happened here? Oh, God. Really? That's what happened now? It reallocated uh, when I settled that city. That was dumpy. I didn't realize that. Okay. Well, we slowed down our faith growth a tad, but on the upshot, I mean, it almost was a good thing, because now we're only five turns from a new citizen. Hey. All right, good. Uh, that's going on. We're going to get a pretty early national college here, I have this feeling, so that's going to be really nice. Uh, you, you should be able to upgrade Bayamo a little bit, because we're going to need to have them grow. And we'll get another worker out for Sandego de Cuba. We could, we could steal the worker from Ur. Uh, that is an option, I guess. But if I don't need to, I don't really want to. Can we please... Uh, can we see something what's over there? Hey, Florence, there we go. So now we can actually move through here. Without vision, we can't move through tiles. Uh, which is, you saw that scout doing some really derpy things. Borders of La Habana have grown. Good. I really want this amber. And again, this is just costing me so much money to get these tiles. Do you have money now? Hey, bucko. We're friendly with me? Really? Weird. Oh, he has salt now, so I can't trade him salt anymore. Damn! Okay, so we really need to meet this fourth AI. And I'm just taking a gamble that he's out west, but <laughs> with my luck, he's actually right here down this narrow snake. Snakey, snakey. All right. Uh, nothing matters. Go. Go. Body massage machine. Samarkand desires iron. I desire iron, too. Did we, did we get that tech eventually? We did. Uh, which means we there is no iron anywhere. But we can get rep with Sukhothai going uh, for iron. Can we do one iron for a horse? Cool. All right, so we're going to get iron and make uh, Samarkand a little happier with us. And this is a trade uh, mercantile. <laughs> mercantile! Yeah, good English there, buddy. Mercantile route. So that's not too bad. Uh, should I get another worker here? Probably wouldn't hurt, honestly. Get another guy out after the granary and the archer. We have a lot of good production here thanks to the salt start, so we're doing all right. Uh... God, I wish I could see. I wish I could see. Man, I just really need to get past these units. I can't do it. Arg, arg. I think I'm going to do this first, because that'll steady up the uh, population growth. Okay, good. We don't have masonry or uh, trapping, so I cannot do anything there. So I might as well get a farm up on the fresh water. It's probably the next best improvement before I get the tech to do this. Religion founded. Oh, wow. He beat me to a religion? How the hell is that even possible? Maybe he got one of those events that gives you 60 faith or something or found a ruin. Because I have Sinai and I, he beat me to a religion. That is hella scary. But we should be on course for religion very soon now. Iron connected for Samarkand. A little extra happiness goes a long way to keep me happy. Funny how that works. Uh, Biomo has grown. Yep, you're going to work this tile that tile, and library in 15, and then we'll start doing the National College. We have basically 15 turns as the counter. 14 after we finish this, so that's 15 right there. So that's pretty pretty much what we're going to get out of it. Um, that's all we can build before we have to start concentrating on the National College. I think my other cities are going to need to do my military for me. Oh, that's why they're moving this way. I can't even get through this terrain. Man, this is a, this is another high sea levels map. It's a little annoying, because uh, you just cannot move for the life of you, but... Hmm. Nature of the beast, I suppose. Okay, we're only at plus eight gold per turn. Not sure what happened there, but I guess we're just building more stuff. Uh, and Iron King of Samarkand, we are friendly. Plus two. Plus two? It's going to be plus three. Uh, maybe I misread that. I hope I misread that. And Seaside Light is getting a little little meaty. Uh, I'm going to need to get some catapults, I think, to deal with that. And that'll be much easier to deal with now uh, since those Evolucionarios will be locking down the cities from attacking. Um, yeah, getting my scout back from here, though, is going to be... An Whoa! -oh. Sorry about that. I think my screen went wonky there for a second. Uh, getting my scout back here, back from here, is going to be pretty hard. Anyway, next turn. As we crank through those buildings, we need for our. Uh, there we go. Wow, more faith. How many of these? It's the third one this game so far. Damn, they really do want me to be a religious powerhouse this game. Uh, and we got a profit just in time. So we got twelve faith from that. Um, okay. Well, let's found a religion in La Habana. Uh, should we find it in Habana? Yeah, probably. La Habana religion, go. Uh, let's use something cool. Let's do Shinto. I kind of like that toady shape. Let's do that. Okay, founder belief. 
Uh, tithe, obviously, still the best choice. I've explained this repeatedly. Why? And what's a good way? Pagodas would be the happiness way. Um, France obviously got cathedrals, apparently, because, you know, French love their cathedrals. Uh, okay, so then the next choice is either mosques or pagodas. I think pagodas would be good. Yeah, let's go with pagodas. We're going to have a lot of faith to crank stuff out with. So, yeah. Pagodas. Yay, found religion. All right, so that looks like a pretty good religion. Uh, we got some tithe. We got a little extra money coming in. We got some cool Shinto symbols. Rock on. All right. Santiago de Cuba. Beautiful. Yeah, we need to work a three-food tile now to make up for um, Sinai. Though we could honestly crank granary out faster and thereby speed up population and keep working the salt. Mm, yeah, let's get the production away because I think in the end, once we get the granary up, uh, the population growth will be roughly the same. Um, <laughs> that's what I'm telling myself. All right. And looks like, uh, Rami might be agitating for war against us, but he's gonna have a hard time with this. Um, once we have three archers in place, it'll be pretty much a foregone conclusion which way that's gonna end. Let's go this way. Ah, oh, we met the last one. It's Indonesia. Bloody marvelous. We can go... Salt for wine. He doesn't have money, unfortunately, but at least this is happiness, right? Yeah. All right. So he's Jakarta over there. So I was right in going west. I'm glad when I get lucky like that. There's probably just a little peninsula here that uh, Rami's going to develop himself on. That's okay. And he's going to definitely think about war with us probably after our caravan's done because this is a positive trade for him as well. And we're definitely getting up there with money to be able to afford our uh, composites eventually. So yay. We should really sell our horses, honestly. Why are we doing this? Yes. Why aren't we selling our horses? Napoleon, do you have money? You do not. <sighs> you have money. Bagio do. Oh, God. I, I missed you. I missed you, Chunky. You talk funny. Um. Oh, Rami Namakanamanahang. No one has money. Why does no one on my continent have money? All right, here. You know what? Bagio to. Here is a horse for gold. Oh, there we go. Okay. So that's at least a little more money. Uh, And he has swordsman already. Maybe he's the one with the... Uh, Great library? No, he got Stonehenge. Okay, so this is going to be a pretty religiously strong continent, but we are the second to our religion, I think, because three more can be founded here. Yeah. So Napoleon was first, but he's way over there, thankfully. So our religion is going to start making headway much sooner than his is. Uh, and we're going to be able to push that against the uh, the uh, Thai or the Siamese uh, at the right time. Oh, wow, look at this. And who found a religion? Just as I said that, Jakarta. It's just three religions on our continent. Well, if I ever picked a game to get Sinai, I guess it was this one, because it's unlikely I'll be able to maintain this for too much longer with a normal religious growth. Uh, let's get... Ooh. I think we have enough food in our capital that this would be better, I believe, because that way we can crank out the National College that much quicker, because National College time is upon us relatively soon, like 11 turns, and our next policy isn't going to come that fast. Yeah, so I think I'm going to take this. I normally would take this growth, but I think this is wiser. Uh, and we'll be able to crank out that National College that much faster. I think the granary here is the right choice, too. I like me. I make good decisions this game so far. Someone's in there with medieval already? An unmet player. Man, this game... Have you noticed our last couple of games? Just the level of tech is just skyrocketing so fast. I, with the World War II free-for-all, I kind of understood, because uh, we had some pretty strong modded civs in there, but this is just a little bat crazy. Uh, I'm going to get out of here with my scout while I still can move back and see where uh, Siam dropped that settler. Um, but we now choose another research. I guess we should go towards civil service, but before that happens, we probably need trapping to get that camp up, which we do. We need masonry, and then we can probably go... Mathematics currency, and then civil service with a brief stop at... Mm, drum and poetry, actually, hold on. Let's get this, then drum and poetry, then move this way. This a little extra... It's one extra culture early, but one extra culture doesn't hurt. I want trapping so I can let this guy do his thing uh, promptly. Oh, he's just in time, too, because he's going to be able to build that trapping resource. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, reallocate tiles for a second here, because that's a better tile now with the granary. Okay, brilliant. Uh, and this is going to be a better tile with the granary, too. So, yes, that was the right decision. Yay. Uh, we'll get a little more production by knocking this up, or should we lock this up? I think the extra faith on that tile might be better. So let's get the food up here, then we'll get a little extra production here, and then all in all, do good. Yep. A lot of good decisions. A lot of good tiles here. I'm afraid I'm going to be a little strategic short because of that. Um, but that's what taking Sugatai is going to be for. He has two iron there. Not much. So we're not going to see a lot of swordsmen coming out of him. 
But uh, all in all, yay. Next. Uh, no longer friends with Samarkand. Bummer. And I'm really debating whether I should buy this amber tile. Because it is a luxury and it's 65 gold. This is going to slow down my composites. I may not need to composite rush them at this point, though. I may just wait till crossbows and trebs with the revolutionarios. It'll be probably a lot easier, a lot quicker that way, especially when the cities can attack. Let's take that um, so we can actually get another luxury out of this. I, that, that may be wise. And I'm going to use Santiago de Cuba to knock out all the uh, archers I need after La Habana knocks this one out. We got a growth point. Uh, go there. Perfect. Belfi, go there. And so far, so great, actually. I really like what, what this is turning into. And this is going to help me stave off the need for ships uh, and workboats. I think Bayamo is going to need to... Yeah, I'm going to need to put off this granary, I think. Ah, no, it'll be going out pretty quick. Let's go after this. We're going to get trireme, then workboat after the granary. And this is going to be National College in a second. As soon as... Oh, we can do Oracle in 17 turns. Damn, that's right. We have a lot of production in La Habana. Uh, can we do Oracle here? That's 32. Yeah, so we don't have quite as much production here. Or nowhere near it, in fact. Um, oh, should I do Oracle Greedy? Should I go Oracle Greedy, or should I just push on to the science? Mmm. Because we're pretty early to philosophy, I think, and 17 turns is hella fast. That would put us on turn 89 and a National College shortly after. A National College at 15. And the reason we can do this so fast, we adopted that wonder tenet. Um... Wow. Another tough decision. Do we go Do we go Oracle? Uh, free social policy wouldn't be bad. And it is plus three culture and scientist points. Let's just freaking go for it. Uh, wait for this archer to finish. And go for the Oracle. Yeah, I think that may be wise. I think that is a wise decision. Let's go for it. If, if not now, then likely never. So let's do it. Uh, see if we can get that out. I think early enough, the Oracle usually doesn't go this... Uh, we'll refrain from buying land from you in the future. How about that? Yeah, you okay, Pumpkin? All right, we're going to put off the worker, obviously, then from La Habana, so Santiago de Cuba is probably going to need to do that. So Santiago de Cuba. Trapaleador. <laughs> Get that sucker out. Um, one more turn to trapping, so you wait a sec. Yep, worker is down there, so we're probably not going to need this third one uh, from Habana. And this way. You demand silver. Who has silver? Probably a city-state, and that's going to be a little long time to come. We're no longer friends with Samarkand. Let's at least mm, protect them? Yeah, our rep is going down so fast because they're hostile. Let's protect them uh, to have our rep resting point a little higher once it goes away, which it inevitably will. He's got another city down. Wow, he is spamming settlers like crazy, but Rami does that. He just drops settlers wherever there's real estate. Um, here's fine. They'll be able to move out of Florence in a second. You can do the camp now, and that'll be a little more production to this, and we're going to get another production tile as we crank it out. So this will be a little faster than we thought, which is nice. So we are sidelining to draw in poetry, then going through masonry through to civil service. Yep. Okay, cool. Uh, Archer, you're going to be good there to defend against ships, and then we'll crank some... Oh, wait, worker out of here. You're going to be doing... Yeah, you're not doing anything for a while. Yeah, about that whole not building archers thing. <laughs> Might not be a... Good idea, honestly. We have three. Let's move this sucker up. Because this does look like there's a little bit of military heading my way. And I don't want to be caught with my pants down. That would be bad. Not to mention embarrassing. Uh, pants down catching. Not good. We do want another worker, though. I kind of need to crank that out. So, uh, I might regret this. I may regret this. Um, but the military's coming. So, yay. Ah, uh, by Mogan. Trespassing in Florence. Another religion founded. Islam, <laughs> hopefully that's the other continent. And yeah, you want Shinto, buddy. That's going to be a little while in coming. I'm not going to get uh, them, their missionaries anytime soon. How about there? Yeah, if we can get this out before they go to war with us, I'll be happy. And I should be able to do that. Okay, so, so far so good. We have our third city down. Uh, Rami is sending cities down this little peninsula, which we got to check out with our scout, who's going to come his way back. Uh, in the interim, though, we're going for the Oracle. Get a little extra social policy. We'll probably go to Ramakahang when we hit that nice timing attack with um, trebuchets and crossbowmen. And so far, so good on this Cuban start. Yes. Beautiful. We'll be shooting for that science victory love. We hold dear to our hearts and uh, knocking the Siamese down in the process. Hope you join me for that soon. This has been Earth. This has been...
pretty fun, I gotta say. Really fun, and I will see you all next time. Until then.